Hi, I'm Dr. Dominic from Let's Get Checked, and I'm here today to talk to you about male fertility issues. So, a lot of the time, um, I think a lot of focus is on women and their fertility, and that generally because women are tend to be better at looking after themselves down there. They also, of course, because of periods and contraception, they, they tend to go to doctors from a much earlier age. But I think guys would be surprised to know that if you're having fertility issues, approximately 33% or one third of all fertility issues amongst a couple are actually down to the guy. Over the past 40 years, the um, men's sperm count has dropped by about 60%, which is kind of terrifying if you think about it. So what is, when we say men's sperm count, what do we mean by sperm count? Well, there's a couple of things we measure. So if we do, if, if you go to your doctor and you do a sperm analysis or send your semen off for analysis, what the, what, the, what the scientists are looking down the microscope at, they're looking for the quantity of sperm and they're looking for the quality of the sperm. So they're looking to see how good a swimmer they are and what size and shape they are. So if they've got a good tail, if they're a good size and shape, and if they swim well, as well as the quantity. So those four or five factors, they make up what we call a sperm count. So what factors might be at play when we talk about male infertility or what factors might we be able to reverse or modify to improve your fertility? Well, broadly speaking, we would divide them into certain headings. So for example, lifestyle factors, um, previous history of uh, sexually transmitted infections, um, weight, and the fourth factor would be genetic factors. So we're going to go into a little bit more detail about those, into those headings now. So when I talk about lifestyle factors, we talk about the usual, you know, culprits, smoking, drinking, recreational drugs, but particularly marijuana or uh, hash smoking as has been shown to reduce sperm count and sperm quality. Excessive, uh, heavy, very heavy cigarette smoking has also been found to do that, as well as excessive alcohol consumption. So if you're really trying to conceive, we would recommend that you cut down or try and quit any of the above. Excessive exercise. It can also cause increased stress hormones. It can reduce the amount of testosterone in your body, which will in turn reduce, uh, reduce the amount of sperm being produced. Um, a lack of exercise or being, um, will also, can also do the same thing, will reduce the testosterone being produced in your body. The third big factor would be weight. So if you're really underweight or if you're really overweight. So similar to women trying to conceive, any extremes of weight is a really, really bad idea. And that's all related to testosterone as well as other hormones. So being overweight, you'll have a reduction in testosterone and being very underweight, you'll have a reduction in testosterone. And this will all affect the quality of your sperm or your sperm count. The fourth big factor, and unfortunately, um, there's not much we can do about this, is you may have a genetically low sperm count. Um, you can have certain conditions, that, uh, or, uh, like an autoimmune condition, where you produce antibodies which attack your own sperm. And this won't be known about until you go for, for in more kind of detailed uh, fertility tests within a fertility clinic or with a specialist. And one, one thing, of course, to tell you guys about is that it's really important if you're trying to conceive that um, your testicles, uh, where sperm is produced, are outside your body for a reason. That's because sperm needs to be at a lower temperature um, than the rest of your body. So very tight-fitting boxer shorts or laptops in your lap all day long are, are a really bad idea. So it's important to wear loose-fitting underwear and not to have a laptop in your laps and not to increase the temperature of your groin if you're trying to conceive. Lots of my male patients say to me, you know, they're really worried that they, they've got fertility issues. And a lot of the time it's unfounded and they're, and they're just worried. So you, guys, you have to be having sex if, if for about a year, unprotected, before you should be getting any fertility test done, like getting your sperm analyzed. So if you yourself and your partner have been trying for about a year unprotected, then we would suggest that you get your sperm analyzed. Um, another th thing you could get tested is you could get your testosterone checked. Because the, sperm is, um, control the, the production of sperm is controlled by testosterone, so if you have low testosterone levels, you'll naturally have low sperm, uh, sperm count. So signs of a low testosterone would, uh, level would be reduced libido, or reduced sex drive, um, you may feel uh, lethargic, um, be sluggish, or feel kind of your mood is low or depressed, and you might have a difficulty getting or maintaining erections. And they're just some of the brief signs of a low testosterone level. Like we've spoken about in different videos where we've covered female fertility and testosterone and other issues, um, 
If you're worried at all, we really encourage you to come onto our website where there's really detailed and good information, or else contact our nurses through um, Let's Get Checked through phone line or else live chat, and they can direct you um, as to which test they think would be best suited for you.